I am Kathleen Donahue and I own Labyrinth Games and Puzzles on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Labyrinth Games and Puzzles is a small, family-friendly, local um, community game and puzzle store and we've been here since 2010 and we serve the community with non-electronic games, puzzles, engineering toys, and um, some Lego. Games are different than what games were if you're older and remember games back in the day of Monopoly and Sorry. There are so many games. We carry over 5,000 different SKUs of different games um, and have over 28,000 items in the store. When I started thinking about the concept of the store, knowing that I wanted people to come in and be able to touch and feel and interact with the items, started formulating my plan. And then when we originally did it, I was just gonna have like a small demo table. Um, but it got out on the internet that I was opening a game store in Washington, D.C., and people started calling my house and asking, well, are you gonna do this and are you gonna do this? And really, what Labyrinth has become is strictly from me listening to customers. It was people asking me, are you going to run magic tournaments? Are you going to have FFG games? I didn't even know what Fantasy Flight Games was at the time. Are you going to have role-playing games? And all of that just came from me listening to customers. I wanted to buy one of my son's friends a Moncala board for his birthday and I went out to Northern Virginia and I drove all over Northern Virginia trying to find a nice Moncala board and couldn't find one. And on the way back into Washington DC, we lived on Capitol Hill, um, I got stuck in horrible traffic and uh, called my husband and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get home in time. And uh, he said that I should open a toy store on Capitol Hill. And I laughed and said, that's ridiculous. I like games and not toys. And so I started thinking about it and I was like, wait, maybe this would work. Washington DC has a lot of really educated, smart people and games are great for educational purposes. Um, there's a lot of people on Capitol Hill that are also, or all over Washington DC area that really like to socialize and be with other people, and I think games is a great way to do that. One of the things when I first started thinking about Labyrinth, I wanted to make it a sophisticated game store. When you walk in the main old front door, we have lots of wooden puzzles and kind of classic games, chess boards, because I wanted to make it welcoming for people who don't normally game. Biggest challenges were finding a location because I knew I wanted it on Capitol Hill, but rent is very, very expensive in our neighborhood. Yeah. But I knew this is the neighborhood that I live in and I love this neighborhood. Um, that was certainly a huge struggle. Um, and also financing, small business financing is really, really hard. I was very, very lucky that I had saved a lot of money and mostly um, self-financed, but finding finances for small business is really hard. I tend to be kind of a workaholic. So I went to all of the libraries and the bookstores and I checked out every book I could find on how does brick and mortar retail make it in the age of, of the internet, right? And every book I read said that you have to create a place that people want to come and hang out. We do over 700 events in the store a year and we do hundreds of events outside of the store, so it's a lot. Um, during the week, we have um, Magic the Gathering, one of the most famous um, popular card games in the world. On Wednesday nights, we do living card games and role-playing games. On Thursday nights, one of our most popular events is board games. Um, on the weekends, we do all kinds of things. We do a lot of kid programming. We do um, kids learn to play Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, um, a first moves class for really little kids that we teach them how to roll dice and spin spinners and play with one another. But when I founded this business, a huge portion wasn't necessarily to make money, but it was a lot to give back to the community. We run after school game clubs, strategic game clubs, sometimes focusing on um, learning strategy games and also on game design in 10 local schools. Um, we run over 30 classes a week and we have over 500 kids a week in our programs. Um, I have both part-time and full-time staff that every single day we go to three or four different schools 
schools and we run generally between three and six classes a day at different schools. Our staff is unbelievably qualified and most of them are way over qualified for working here and um, and certainly not paid enough. I wish I could pay all of them way more. Um, we do our best and I try to, we do profit sharing and I try to give back to my staff as much as I possibly can. The community is really important to me and I think that's what gives me joy in this job. Like obviously before I opened the store I made more money. Like I mean I had a corporate job and I made lots and lots of money and yeah. it was great. But I think what makes this interesting to me and ma what makes me happy is I can do something different every day when I come and giving joy and bringing people together is really important to me but also like being able to build those relationships i mean we've had people that said that they like found an apartment based on the proximity to labyrinth and we've found people that have made friends like lifelong friends here we've had people get married from being at game night um and that's that's very important to me So we also do a huge um, donation, charitable giving type program. Um, when I opened the store, I knew from growing up in my dad's store that people are always asking for donations and I wanted to figure out how to deal with that. And I decided when I opened the store that our charitable donations would be to local schools, that we would support local schools in DC or support kids in DC. That was what I wanted to do. So over the years we've done that. Um, I started a game lending library with a couple local schools and we worked with the teachers on how to use games in school to support learning goals. Um, through that I started doing professional development with teachers and a lot of them said we don't have enough money to buy these games and put them in the classroom. So I started multiple fundraisers throughout the year to raise money to buy teachers games. Um, that being said, I pulled reports at the beginning of this year and the program has grown so much that last year we've given out over $30,000 worth of games to local schools and we've donated over $6,000 worth of events um, to, to local school fundraisers. I think that if people are looking to go out in entrepreneurial ways, they should definitely go for it but they should also remember that it is a lot of work it is a lot of work hard work and you're not always immediately rewarded for that but it's also incredibly rewarding by um, being able to build something that is important to people